my name is Kola Balobu. I represent Oyo South Central District. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, I'm happy with this opportunity for all of us to speak truth to power on the state of insecurity in our nation. Mr. President, distinguished colleagues, this is a defining moment in the life of our nation. We all agree, we've spoken about it today, that the current security architecture as we have it is not working, it's defective, it's hopeless. There's manpower shortage. There's lack of funds for even the one that we have to work and function properly. Therefore, I think we should now begin to look at other options, other instruments of interventions that we require. Because Nigerians are looking up to us as an important arm of government for us to do the needful to rescue this nation from these incessant insecurity problems. Mr. President, just last year, a couple came from the U.S. They were traveling back to, back to the U.S. on holiday. As a wife, a husband, a 15-year-old girl, and a five-year-old daughter. Just traveling from Akure to Lagos, they got kidnapped somewhere around Ilefe. This woman was raped. They were taken to the bush in the presence of her husband. The 15 year old was raped in the presence of her parents. The little girl was shouting, Mommy, what's going on here? Daddy, what's going on here? She was tra traumatized. But they finally left, escaped with their lives. Of course, parted, parting with a lot of money. When the couple got back to the US, after being rehabilitated and going through psychological help, the lady was courageous enough to put out, uh, to narrate her experience in the hands of the bandits. And in narrating the experience, she concluded by saying that she and her family will never come back to Nigeria. This is so sad, Mr. President. Because in this chamber, we observed a one minute silence for the daughter of our late, of our father, of our, of our leader, Papa Sorans. She was not so lucky. Because it's a speech. She got killed. Up to today, nobody has told us what has happened. The point I'm trying to, I'm driving at, Mr. President, we have gotten to a stage where we really have to do something and do something very fast. Mr. President, we have other options. When the governors of Southwest got together and come together and come up with this Amateku philosophy, I've had people, I've had people describing it as a ploy to succeed. It doesn't make sense to me. How can five APC governors coming together with one PDP governor do anything that would amount to secession, that would be against the programs and policies and the position of the federal government being controlled by the same by APC? It doesn't make sense to me. I think the governors were just patriotic enough to respond to the yearnings and aspirations of their people by putting that together. Mr. President, I think our problem has to do with over-politicizing of almost every issue in this country. And I'm happy from the onset you told us to, not, to, to place less policy, and not to play policy at all with this particular issue. Mr. President, I'm looking at those options. We have federal police already. Why we continue to manage its inadequacies by maybe more funding and encouraging the federal police as it is now 
we should also look at zonal intervention. Nobody is going to succeed in a country where the system is working. Nobody will talk about secession. You can round up, please. Away, Mr. President. Therefore, Mr. President, let us do something to make this country functional. Let's come up with norms of good governance. People have spoken a lot about it. Employment generation, wealth generation, because this also has something to do with insecurity. So, Mr. President, I am in support of state police. I'm in support of regional intervention. I'm in support of even community policing, whatever it is, but it can be optional, like some, of, some people have suggested. Those who feel comfortable with state police should go ahead and have it. Mr. President, nobody will use that kind of instrument to even contemplate seceding. Our telecom is not the same thing as Nigerian Army. State police, we can't equate it with Nigerian Army, and neither the community police. Mr. President, now is the time.